What is up, everybody? I hope everybody's having a good evening. Welcome back to Whiskey and Wheel, uh, the new series I just started for my channel where we have a glass of scotch or whiskey and spin the wheel in Rise of Kingdoms. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Fett. I play the mobile game Rise of Kingdoms, which is a game for Apple and Android where you can build a city, build an army, and fight other players in events like Kingdom vs. Kingdom or KVK or Ark of Osiris. Um, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Like I said, what we're doing is having a glass of scotch. We're going to spin the Zhang, Zhang Yu wheel and see if we can get a little bit of luck. Last night we didn't do too bad, so tonight we're going to have another glass of whiskey and see if the luck continues. If you guys like content about Rise of Kingdoms, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you guys like this new series that I'm doing. Let me know what I am doing makes sense and you guys like to watch it. Other than that, um, let's get right into it, guys. All right, so here we are. Just a quick MGE update, just to show you guys what's going on. Um, the previous stage was Barbarians, um, which I did pretty good in. Um, I think I came in, let's see. Yeah, I came in seventh, actually, for the Barbarians. So I actually spent um, quite a good quite a bit of time today um, fighting barbarians, um, which was fun. And I tried to find a balance between kind of preparing with gathering for this stage that we're in now, which is gathering resources versus spending AP on barbs. I do want to save as much AP as I can for the Marauders event that's coming up um, as soon as we get into KVK. But I did quite a bit. I came in seventh. So I think I landed somewhere around, oh, tells me right here. 1.65 million points, which is great. So that put, puts me on a pretty good total here. Of overall, I am at, come on, 83.8 million points and in 10th place still. Again, when I first started this in my MGE um, Yadwiga video, I said I did not want to be in 10th place because it, it kind of racks the nerves a little bit to be in that. Um, somebody might be able to jump up on that last final stage where you, know, you can do anything, kill barbs, train troops. Um, kill event. We do have a um, kill event limit for our kingdom just to make sure that we're not using too many resources or speed ups um, for basically no reason. So that I'm not too worried about, but I am kind of worried about someone going off the wall and training some additional troops in stage six where you can get about 80, I believe it's 80% of the points um, for training troops. So I did a little bit of spending recently, so I've got some speed ups back that I might have to use on that final day to train some troops. Otherwise, we are looking pretty good. So before we get into the wheel, obviously first things first, I am once again having my Dow Winnie 15, my scotch of choice. Like I said before guys in my last video, go ahead and drop a comment below for what kind of beverage you guys like to drink when you're playing rock. All right, so we're obviously not you know, drinking all the time when we're playing rock because we play it pretty much all day, every day. But when you're trying to relax and hang out and you know you're going to spend some time fighting barbs, killing Soroli, whatever it is, drop a comment below of what that drink of choice is for you guys. Alrighty. So, cheers. Whiskey and wheels. Here we go. All right. So, here we go. We're going to start with that free spin and see what we can get. Boom. Not too bad for a free spin. There we go. And some resources. Okay. Um, so the free spin was great. The 50% off was stone, which um, actually, I mean, I guess if you're kind of looking at it for a gem spent, that was a pretty good value. I got what? One and a half million stone for 400 gems. That's pretty good. All right. Now we're going to get into the meat of it, guys. Again, what we're going to hit tonight is the 70 spins and the 100 spin. So we're gonna get these 10 universals for the 70th spin. When we get to that 100th spin, we're gonna get the 15 additional Zhang Yus, which is really gonna add into what we're getting from the wheel and make it all worthwhile. Let's get into it. All right, I'm happy it wasn't the building speed ups. Research, okay. I'll take the single. Not too shabby. I'll take that. Not what we want. We want to see that eight spot, right? Oh, God. Ugh. 
the building. Uh, okay, more research. Come on now. Come on now. All right, I'll take that. So three sculpts there. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'd replace the building and the research speedups with literally anything else, but I'm happy that I got one universal and two Zhang Yu uh, sculpts right there. Let's go ahead and pop this chest. Again, just really adds into the value of the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, you kind of, for me, if you're unlucky, ah, it's such a double-edged sword. It's hard to say if, because if you get, you know, two eight spots within 60 spins, is it really necessary to push to the 100? I don't know. It also obviously depends on your, there we go. Woohoo! All right, baby. Nine. Nine. Let's go. Guys, I think I'm onto something here with the whiskey and wheel. The luck has been a lot better than the first time I hit this wheel. Let's go. Ah, beautiful. Gotta love it. Gotta love the eight spot. I don't even care about those building speed ups. I will just, I'll take those because you gave me an eight spot. Thank you, Will. Oh, okay. Verification rewards while I'm spinning the wheel. Lilith, get it together, man. I don't even know what I got there. All right, two universals, a bunch of training speed ups and then building speed ups. I mean, that's that's okay. You know, if you're comparing that to what I would have to spend in the VIP shop to get that, that's a really good value. All right, 40 more to go. Here we go. How are my gems looking? 64,000 still, we're okay. More speed ups. In gold, so mm, I mean, the 90 hours of universal speed ups is pretty good, but all the other stuff's kind of meh. Um, I'm gonna call that one a wash. Not too, not too crazy, but really didn't get anything that was worthless in there, so that's okay. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, this this wheel's looking good tonight. I mean, that's a good that's a good spin. I mean, not not a single sculpture in there, but guys, this is I mean, this is great. 135 hours of universals and 32 hours of training and two million wood for 3,600 gems. That's really good value. Okay, give me that single, I'll take the single. Take another single, thank you. And some more stars, okay, not too shabby. Um, love getting the sculptures, the stars are okay. Um, you know, the research speed ups, like I said, are pretty useless, but it's good to build them up, I guess, for when you can trade them in or, or whatever. Just hit the 100 spins, guys, so we're looking good there. We're gonna get that extra bonus. There's another eight spot. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, whiskey and will, next time you're spinning this wheel, pour yourself a glass of whiskey and you're going to love the results. Look at that. Another nine. Oh man, that's just, that's just great. Let's go. Let's go. Lilith. Okay. So I was so frustrated the first time I did this wheel. Like I said, I got maybe 40 or 50 Zhang Yus, including the chests that I did have some, how do I say it? Um, harsh words for Lilith, and they said they were gonna work on the probabilities. So, so far, it seems like they have, and I'm super pumped. Let's keep it rolling, let's let's pop these chests right here, get the extra 15, and let's keep it rolling. Get out of here. Oh, the wheel is, is so nice to us tonight, guys. Man, this this, this is going well. Ooh, I thought it was going to give me another one. Wow. Okay, so that one's a little lackluster. A bunch of resources, universal sculpture, which, you know, in itself is worth 2,000 gems. Um, and this is this is a wash to, to wash minus, <laughs> we'll say. 
All right, let's see if it wants to give us a little extra here. Come on. Okay. All right, stars. You know, I almost said it, you really can't get enough of those, but my buddy Diesel, who I play a lot with, um, has like thousands of stars, and he couldn't use them if he wanted to. So here we go. Last five. Let's see, Lilith. What do you got for me? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. All right, I'll take the one. I'll take the resources, I guess. More resources. I'll take that. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> I got to say, um, that's some of the best luck I've had on any wheel in quite some time. I'm not going to lie. That was a really, really good wheel session right there. Two eight spots. I want to say I got probably somewhere in the realm of 10 or 12 singles. Um, Universal's probably somewhere between eight and 12 as well. Um, then I got both of these chests. So I got the 10 universals there, the extra 15. Guys, wow. I mean, for the, what did I spend there? Probably about 30, probably about 36,000 gems ish. 30, yeah, somewhere between 35 and 40,000 gems right there. Um, well, well worth it, right? If I was just going to drop that in the VIP shop for sculpts, I would spend, um, you know, 50, 40 to 50,000 gems. So, I mean, the return is definitely there. Plus I got everything else that came with these spins, like the resources and the speed ups. Um, so that was, that was a really, really good evening for the wheel guys. Let's go see what I got. I got a full skill there and I am halfway to another skill on Zhang Yu. This is going very well. I'm super pumped about the results of this wheel tonight, guys. Like I said, I think I'm onto something with pouring myself a nice glass of whiskey and getting on the wheel that way. Um, so far, the luck has been pretty good. For my total spins right now, 124, I have three, eight spots, which um, I did 186 last time and I only got one. So. Lilith either did something or the, the whiskey and wheel is the way to go, or this is just how the game goes. And you really do have to stick it out and continue spinning it until that luck drops for you. That's all I really wanted to do tonight, guys, um, which is come on, have a glass of whiskey with you, spin the wheel, see how our luck was doing. Tonight, as you guys saw, we were lucky. So that went very, very well. Yeah, man, I, I couldn't be I couldn't be more happy with that wheel, wheel spin tonight. I am super excited to finish this guy off with that kind of spinning right there. If we get another night like that, guys, I'm probably just going to go ahead and max him, at which point I will come on and max him. I will do another review of him. Um, I feel like the reviews are good for not only you guys, but for me as well. You know, I do have a lot of experience with this game, but when I kind of talk it out here with you, um, on my channel. It helps me understand, you know, all the skills and how they might go with other commanders as well. So not only do I benefit from it, um, I hope you guys do as well. Just kind of me working through what the skills are and how I plan to use them. But yeah, guys, we're, we're doing well here on, on this guy, Xiang Yu. So thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. Real short and sweet. Just wanted to spin the wheel and have a glass of whiskey with you. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, guys. All the support means a lot, and I love sharing content about Rise of Kingdoms with you. That's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, have a good one.